Hey, 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 what's up guys? Hey, 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 hey. Infer the conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. Hello everyone, I hope that you are all ready for our science lesson today. Welcome to Sir Boyet Science Vlog, where your learning becomes easy. This is Sir Boyet, I am your science teacher. In today's modern age, Almost everything is powered by electricity. Things that use electricity are easy to use and do a lot more. If your mother ordered you to turn off the light, what would you look for? You are right. The first thing you look for is a switch to turn off the light. Did you know that the switch is just one of the circuit components in the house? Apart from this, there are other things that we should know. Now, we will study the other parts of a circuit needed to light a light bulb and find out some conditions necessary for a light bulb to glow. But before that, we must first know the following terms that we will use in our lesson today. These are the terms you should know before we proceed to our lesson. 1. Electrical circuit 2. Direct current 3. Alternating current and 4. Ohm's Law Electrical Circuit Electrical Circuit A circuit is a closed path consisting of parts through which electrons from a source of voltage or electricity can flow. Next is Direct Current Direct current. Direct current is electric current or charge that flows in one direction from a source produced by batteries, thermocouples, solar cells, and other electrical machines. Next is alternating current. Three. Alternating current. It is an electric current that reverses its direction many times a second at regular intervals. The alternating current or AC is the form of electrical power that reaches its law. What is Ohm's law? Ohm's law, the law that states high potential difference of electricity, will also give greater current. Now that you know the meaning of the following terms, like electrical circuit, direct current, alternating current, an Ohm's law, we can now continue our discussion about the conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. What are the conditions necessary to make a bulb light up?
To light up a bulb, you need to construct a simple circuit. A DC or AC circuit will do as long as it is functional. There are two types of current in a simple circuit. That is the direct current and the alternating current. In constructing simple circuit, we need to have a battery, a wire, a switch, and a light bulb. First, we need to have a source of electrical potential or voltage which is typically a DC source battery or an easy source electric outlet. All battery operated home appliances are DC powered electrical devices such as cell phone, flashlight, portable electric grill, and other portable appliances. The light installed in house are powered by an AC supply and home appliances are powered by plugging into the house AC outlet. Second, we need to have a conductive path or a connector which would allow for the movement of charges. This is usually a wire made of copper or aluminum. When the wires in a circuit are connected to the metal casing and metal tip of the bulb, there is a closed or complete circuit with the bulb. Electricity will be able to flow through the filament causing the bulb to light up. Third, we need to have a load. This device has electrical resistance. This is an object that uses electricity to do work for a purpose and to have light, we will use a light bulb. And fourth, we need a switch which is a device that can open or close the circuit without having to disconnect wire. The parts are connected with conducting wires that connect the two terminals of the battery to the two ends of the light bulb and switch which is used to switch on or switch off a light bulb. When a switch is on, it closes the circuit. A closed circuit is a circuit in which the path is complete and there is a flow of current in the entire path from the power source. In this case, a bulb is lighted. When a switch is off, it opens the circuit. Open circuit is a circuit in which the path is incomplete, which means there is no flow of current. The power source is cut in which case a bulb stops from glowing. In a circuit, electron can move around. When an electricity is applied from the power source, across the metal, the electric field causes electrons to move one end of the conductor to the other.
simple electrical circuit actually uses the concept of Ohm's law. This law was named after the German physicist George Simon Ohm, who in 1857 measured voltage and current through simple electrical circuits containing various length of wire. The law states that the more potential you have, the greater you, your current is going to be. This means that the more resistance a circuit you have, the lower the current is going to be. Each device or bulb placed within the circuit provides a resistance to the electrons flowing through the wire. Some devices apply greater resistance than others. The law is represented by voltage equal current times resistance which means that the voltage is equal to the product of current and resistance. Almost all tasks can be facilitated using electricity, but beware of the danger it can bring. So, for more information about making simple circuit, it is still good to put a fuse or circuit breaker in the circuit. Fuse or circuit breaker can be added in the electrical circuit. It stops and the flow of electricity when there is trouble in the line. Fuses and circuit breakers are protective devices that automatically cut the current when an overload or short circuit happens. The use of electricity can cause disaster, so everyone is reminded to study and understand the theories behind the use of electricity, such as Ohm's law. Through this, here we will know the right materials for the project involving electricity and also building wiring installation must conform to the national electrical code neck or if you are living in the philippines philippine electrical code must be followed so that everyone will definitely be safe So, for a circuit to be safe, the wire size must be correct, installation must be correct, there must be a fuse, and most of all, it must be in accordance with the calculation of Ohm's law. Let's review. The bulb will light if there is a battery and a complete circuit provided that the battery, bulb, and wire are properly attached together in a closed circuit. The bulb will not light up if one of the clips was removed from the source or if the bulb was not fully screwed into a socket. The bulb will not light up unless the other end of the wire is connected to the negative end of the battery. It means that electricity cannot flow in an open circuit.
We usually add in a switch to the circuit so that we can break the circuit and stop the electric current when we want to. Fuse or circuit breaker is also added a safety switch that automatically disconnect the entire circuit from the source when there is overload and circuit trouble. A little test. Which of the three has the right connection to light a light bulb? Yes, complete circuit or closed circuit can light a light bulb. Whew. We really learned more. Enjoy your study and learn a lot. Keep on viewing and learn something. That's all for now. See you soon.